Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And we are live. Hey, you guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Um, I was just going through some videos that I've shot, like the last like three or four, and I realized I didn't do a proper intro in any of those videos. If you found me within like my last like four videos, you're like, who is this chick? Why does she feel like she can just get into it? But you know, I like to hope that it like adds to my, um, my brand of unplannedness. Un is unplannedness a word? We're already just going off. Okay. I'm in another new space. This one is the quietest one yet. There are planes, but they're not that low flying and the construction we can deal with. So I'm shook, but bear with me as I have like one of the more bare backgrounds on the tube, but I know you guys don't care, right? Do you care? You just want that sweet, sweet content and you don't care what my bedroom looks like, I hope. So hi, you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name's Chanel if you're new here. So glad to have you here. We watch movies um, and I try to clue you in on what's going in my brain when I watch them. I come from a filmmaking background. I'm an actor, writer, director, and I just freaking love the movies. So I try to tell you kind of like a little bit of what's going on in my head as I'm watching. Today's video is going to be 10 Things I Hate About You from 1999. I wanted to do Teen Movie May and I knew it was going to end up being Teen Movie May in June because I can't keep a schedule to save my life. So um, we saw teens in the 50s in Greece and we saw teens in the 60s with American Graffiti and we saw teens in the 70s with Days and Confused and we saw teens in the 80s with... What's, I just dropped it yesterday. I get Days and Confused and Fast Times at Rosemont High mixed up but then we saw kids in the 80s with Fast Times and 10 Things I Hate About You is 99 so it's gonna be like the late 90s like almost 2000s and okay okay you do not need to shame me in the comments I am embarrassed that I've never watched 10 things I hate about you let me explain this is one of those movies that's always on like the freeform channel do you know what I mean or like ABC family growing up and I would always catch it in the middle or towards the end. Like I know Julia Stiles gives like a really good speech at the end and it's like world famous speech. And I know that this is like based on the taming of the shrew. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, please don't hold it against me. Basically, I've always seen this like in the middle or the end and I'm like a purist in the sense that I don't wanna catch a movie at just the end. So I've always turned it off thinking I will get to this later and I, have never gotten to it. So I like, I'm so sorry, but I, that needs to be on the table. I've never seen it all the way through. I remember zero parts to it. I like to think I was putting it off for this exact reason. So yes, okay, what do I know about this film? 10 things I hate about you. Taming of the Shrew is a comedy by William Shakespeare, <laughs> allegedly. Do we believe Shakespeare's real? Comment below. I think Shakespeare was likely a team of writers but I had a professor in high school who would kill me for saying that. Professor in high school and college who would kill me for saying that. I'm not gonna understand this synopsis, so I'm gonna stop looking up the taming of the shrew. <laughs> I just wanna watch, oh yes, wait, I'm so sorry, Heath Ledger. He is a phenomenal, oh my God, Allison Janney's in this. <gasps> I'm sorry, I have to stop looking at the IMDb. I love Heath Ledger, we know he's great. So without further ado, let's get right into today's movie, which is 10 Things I Hate About You from 1999. Oh my God, wait, this song is going on the playlist. What's it called, 10 Weeks? We love an alt girl. Do time out. Do you love Hollywood's version of an alt girl? It's just like pretty Julia Stiles who is dirty blonde instead of blonde and has curly hair instead of pin straight. Also Jaddy. You love her. <laughs> Miss Perky Dead. Great name. Here you go. Nine schools in 10 years. My, my goodness, uh, That's enough. I'm sure you won't find She's writing sexy stories. Right off. Also, JJO. I see we're making our visits a weekly ritual. 
Only so we can have these moments together. Should I uh, hit the lights? Oh, very clever, kangaroo boy. He sounds Australian. It says here you exposed yourself in, in the cafeteria. Bratwurst, aren't we the optimist? Next time, keep it in your pouch. Okay. Let's go. I love Alice and Janney. <laughs> oh, this is going to be epic, you guys. I'm so happy I've never seen this. Oh, that never gets old. Cameron, here's the breakdown. <clears throat> That's the elf. That's from the movie The Santa Claus. Edgy, don't make any sudden movements around me. These I love high school. Oh my god, I love high school movies. This is so stupid how much I love high school movies. Uh, I don't know this actress. Who is she? Hi, and I perish. Of course you do. You know, she's beautiful. Little Shakespeare. But I love my Prada backpack. But I love my Skechers. That's because you don't have a Prada backpack. Oh. Rude. Bradford sisters aren't allowed to date. Uh-huh. Yeah. OK, then. What did everyone think oh, of the sun also computers. I loved it. Wondered half his life hanging around Picasso trying to nail his leftovers. As opposed to a bitter, self-righteous hag who has no friends? <laughs> <laughs> down chachi <laughs> someday you're gonna get bitch slapped and i'm not gonna do a thing to stop it yeah good teacher for your point of view i know how difficult it must be for you to overcome all those years of upper middle class suburban oppression must be <clears throat> tough undulating with desire adrian removes her red <sighs> this is a vertigo shot my friends they are pulling they are physically Judith. zooming in while pulling the camera out or vice versa. You can get that both ways. I don't know how to tell the difference. I'll let you get back to Reginald's quivering member. She knows. Who's that guy? It's Joey Donner. He's a jerk off. He's a bitch. Look at her eyes, man. She's, she's totally pure. You're missing what's, what's there. 360 camera. camera rotating completely around them. Showing us that there are no lights in frame. There's no equipment in frame. Lives not happy. Put her in your spank. Kind of cool. I love when when directors do this. I know you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? Oh my God! I feel like I know that line. Remove head from sphincter, then drive. <laughs> Using words like sphincter to tell us that she's smart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a minor encounter with the shrew. It's your girlfriend's sister. Shrew. Wait, that's Bianca's sister? Mm -hmm. Wow, they're using actual Shakespeare language. Oh shit, Bernard. You better use Santa's magic. You good, Bernard? He's good. Breath of fresh air that this is not LA. You know, or like New York, like Seattle. Cool. Make anyone cry today? Sadly He's from no. the Princess Diaries. Only... Honey, that's great, but isn't Sarah Lawrence on the other side of the country? Thus the basis of its appeal. Yeah. Thus the basis of its appeal. Bianca can date. When she does. <gasps> oh no. But she's a mutant. What if she never dates? Then you'll never date. Oh, I like that. That's a great dramatic setup. Hit the two sis siblings against each other. It's like a really nice antagonism. Talk about Sarah. But I'm loving the language in this as well. They kind of nailed it with that modern Shakespeare. Calvin, yep. in case you haven't heard, my sister's a particularly Calvin. hideous breed of loser. Plus, she's a bitch. Men love yeah, bitches. Sure, you know, the, like, love. Guys. You think you could find someone that extreme? Yeah, sure, why not? And you do that for me? Hell yes! <laughs> Who are these clowns? Would any of you be interested in dating Katarina Stratford? We were the last two people alive, and there were no sheep. Are there sheep? Ah! He's our guy. I just realized, like, flames in science class, like Bunsen burners and such, reckless, dangerous. Yeah, well, what we need is a backer. What's that? Someone with money who's stupid. 
You need to hire a guy who will go out with her. Someone who doesn't scare so easily. Balls. <laughs> that guy? I heard he ate a live duck once. Everything but the beak and feet. Clearly, he's a solid investment. Let him pretend he's calling the shots. While he's busy setting things up, you have time to be on. I have a dick on my face, don't I? Good for him. He knew. You see that girl? Yeah. That's cat strap. Bend it like that, I want days. you to go out with her. You're gonna pay me to take out some chick. How much? Twenty bucks. Fifty bucks, and we got a deal, Fabio. Fabio's good. That was good. I can't decide if he's using an American English accent or if I do hear his native accent, right? Because isn't he Australian? Well, for not, I take you places you've never been before. Like where the Seven Eleven on Broadway? Do you even know my name, Screwboy? Like where the Seven Eleven on Broadway? <laughs> You don't always have to be who they want you to be, you know. Julia Stiles is so articulate. I would cast her in Shakespeare in a heartbeat. Well, maybe you're not afraid of me, but I'm sure you've thought about me naked, huh? Am I that transparent? I want you. I need you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Boy o'clock. What is it, asshole day? <laughs> yes, nail the car. You bitch! <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Whoops! I guessed the line. My insurance does not cover PMS. I want you to trust me to make my own choices, and I want you to stop trying to control my life just because you can't control yours. I love a good dig at a parent when it's, like, true. My man Cameron here has a major Jones for Bianca Stratford. What is it with this chick? She have beer-flavored nipples? Hey, I, I uh... Let me explain something to you here. Uh, we set this whole thing. Do you guys feel like Joseph Gordon Levitt, Levitt is like the farmer Ted of his generation? Anthony Michael Hall, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. We love a three name. I love a three name. Let's write down three name boys. That was like a very, that's what we call a stage hold. The director was like, hold it up so the camera can see it. And he was like, like, no one holds a flyer like that. Cool shot. Wow, look at this. Very cool. Which one do you like better? <laughs> I like the white shirt better. I'll put my it's, it's first cool. black and white photo, headshot photo, here. Class schedule, reading list, date book, concert tickets, concert tickets. This is my worst nightmare, like room reader status, like someone going through my drawers. Like, I would rather die. I tell us. She wants to have sex someday, that's what. She, she, could, she could just like the color. That's what black underwear means. Laundry, unless you want someone to see it. Oh. Good point. Is this what a bar looks like? Don't touch anything. You may get hepatitis. Go get him, Bernard. Fairly long takes in this. Um. You know, I always wait to see if it's a trend, and it is. The camera's following. So what do you got for me? Uh, that was a, our first cut in the bar. Alcohol when you don't have a liver. What? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Uh, first thing, Cat hates smokers. And um, and here's another problem. Bianca said that Cat likes pretty guys. Makeover. I hope we get a makeover. Not a pretty guy. He's very pretty. Yeah, I, this is a gorgeous I, guy. I just wasn't sure. I, I didn't guy. know. You know. <laughs> Why doesn't he work more? The guy on the right, who I'm calling, lovingly calling Bernard, because he's from the Santa Claus. Maybe he does. I was watching you out there before. I've never seen you look so sexy. <laughs> sexy. Dead. <laughs> I'll see you at 9.30 then. These movies are so formulaic, but they work every goddamn time, don't you think? Like, how many movies have you seen where somebody bribes someone to go take someone out, they find out, they get offended, they get sad, but they actually fall in love? Same excuse for all the idiots at our school to drink beer and rub up against each other in hopes of distracting themselves from the pathetic emptiness of their meaningless, meaningless consumer-driven consumer lives. One night Damn, she's predictable. 
I want you to wear the belly. <gasps> Daddy, no. Not all night. What? Just this around the room for a minute so you can understand the full weight of your decisions. Drinking, no drugs, no kissing, <laughs> no tattoos, no piercings. No, I'm early. Whatever, I'm driving. Who knocked up your sister? I'm so excited to be at a high school party. I love. Want <laughs> one? <sighs> oh, shit. You not around anywhere? Relax. Relax. I'm fine. I'm pretty struck by the amount of cigarettes I see on screen. You don't really see that in like teen movies of like, think about Mean Girls. There's not a single cigarette in that movie. Poor JGL. Girl on an elevated surface, start recording. Not just girl, anyone on an elevated surface, start recording. You're welcome. That's advice for everybody. She never wanted me. She wanted Joey the whole time. Cameron, do you like the girl? Yeah. Yeah, and is she worth all this trouble? Secondly, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. Go for it. I have goosebumps. That is what his character actually is. A sweetie pie. I told you, you may have a concussion. You don't care if I never wake up. Sure I do. Why? Sure I do. Well, no, 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 no. Cat, come on, wake up. Look at me. Listen to me, Kat. Open your eyes. Your eyes have a little green in them. <laughs> <sighs> I hate a I hate an on-screen throw up. Start a band? No, install car stereos. Yeah, start a band. My father would love that. The only thing people know about me is that I'm scary. Yeah, well, I'm not pitting myself. Well, no offense or anything. I mean, I know everyone digs your sister, but, um, she's without. She's without? Come on, she went 90. Do the 10. It's another time. <sighs> Maybe because she's drunk. Good looks. Good looks. Helped you when you asked me to. I I learned French for you, and and then you just blow me off so that you. Can... She's like, shut up, kiss me, and um, back in the game. Cute. Unless you kick the crap out of your dumb butt, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> and faith, I do not love thee with mine eyes. For damn thee a thousand errors, no. But tis my heart that loves what they despise. Who in despite of you is pleased to dope. Cool. Now, I know Shakespeare's a dead white guy, but he knows this shit, so we can overlook that. I want you all to write your own version of this sonnet. Do you want this in iambic pentameter? You're not gonna fight me on this? No, I think it's a really good assignment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it sounds hard. They are such a 90s dream team. Who could refrain? That had a heart to love. And in that hey. heart. Courage to make love known. I see you, Bernard. Oh, wow. It's a gorgeous school. Holy shit. I got the scoop. What'd she say? Hates him with the fire of a thousand suns. That's a direct quote. We well, don't know. She could, uh, she could need a day to cool off. Did your school have archery? Mine did not. You're concentrating awfully hard considering it's gym class. Can I help you? I want to talk wrong. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> not over that. I'm sick of playing your little game. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. You, uh, you sick of, let's say, 300? It's a good business move, just take it. He's a douchebag. I'm not the sort of person. You wanna know what I just realized? 
This is my guess. The end monologue is her doing the sonnet. Is that true? The assignment? Maybe. You're not as mean as you think you are, you know that? And you're not as badass as you think you are. Ooh, someone still has her panties in a twist. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. Then what did I have an effect on? Other than my upchuck reflex, nothing. Other than my upchuck reflex, nothing. Love. You're just too good to be true. Can't to touch. I wanna hold you so much. I love a musical number. It's arrived, and I thank God I'm alive. No. No. My cheeks are killing me. Damn me when I say, oh, pretty baby, baby, let me love you. Why is he in trouble? Wow. <sighs> Goosebumps. Ten out of ten. You've got pot, don't you? What? No, I don't. What do you mean? Where? I'm confiscating this. For me. This too. <clears throat> also, can we please get back to Alice and Johnny, though? That thing that you taught us. What thing? Misdirection. I taught you that? Hey, we score. We win. Okay, but how do we get them to look like? Um, like this. Oops. I don't like to do what people expect. Why should I live up to other people's expectations instead of my own? So you disappointed from the start and then uh, you're covered, right? You never disappointed me. Cute. You guys, cute. Get beside me. I want you to love me. I'm surprised that you Hot. Hot. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I like that. Duck. Here, say. Bobby Ridgeway's balls. Fact. But he deserved oh. it. He tried to grope me in the lunch line. Fair enough. They're clearing the up accent. the rumors about each other. It's real. I uh, lived in Australia until I was 10. <laughs> Where were you last year? I know the porn career is a lot. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're two misunderstood little <sighs> creatures. You're sweet. And sexy and completely hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> go to the prom with me. What'd she call it? Is that a request or a antiquated on, dating ritual? Me. Why not? Because I don't want to. Why are you pushing this? What's in it for you? <gasps> no. So, so now I need to have a motive to want to be with you. You tell me. Flip it back on her gaslighter, yes. She's crazy for thinking you this. You need therapy, you know that? You're Has crazy. anyone ever told you, you that? You need therapy. Answer the question, Patrick. Nothing, there is nothing in it for me, just the pleasure of your company, okay? I love these tropes, they're so fun. Oh. Seven! <laughs> Seven. I know you hate having to sit at home because I'm not Susie High School. Like you care. I do care, but I'm a firm believer in doing something for your own reasons and not someone else's. Joey never told you that we went out, did he? Yeah, okay. In ninth for what? a month. No. No, they didn't. What? So what happened? <gasps> what? <gasps> what? Please tell me you're joking. Just once. Right what? after mom left. She slept with Joey? Everyone was doing <gasps> it, so... Afterwards, I told him I didn't want to anymore because I wasn't <gasps> ready. And he got pissed and he <gasps> dumped me. After that, I swore I would never do anything just because everyone else was doing it. And I haven't since. I warned him that if he told anyone, the cheerleading squad would find out how tiny his dick is. <laughs> they slept together. Guys, I'm shocked. Not all experiences are good, Bianca. You can't always trust the people you want to. 
Well, I guess I'll never know. Oh, man. Yo, I'm taking this ride. I'm shocked. <laughs> Rebuilt on itself, leaving you with great, great this guy's good. hair. And the GLH hair system is not expensive. Interesting. I like him. Cat one, I guess I'm allowed to, based on the aforementioned rule and its previous stipulations, of course. Nice to meet you. Now let's go. Truth. Let me go, Daddy. Oh my god, that updo with all the curls. Legit my communion. Where'd you get the dress? Oh, just something I had. You know. Lying around. around. <laughs> Those curls flashing Listen. back. Who is it? Bernard? <laughs> Cute. I didn't pay you to take out cats so that some little punk could snake me with me on. That's enough, okay? You cross the line. Punch him out. Punch his face. Oh, wrong person. Come on, get up, you little punk. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. Give me a chance. Just you to... were paid to take me out by the one person I truly hate. I knew this was a setup. Didn't care about the money, okay? I cared. I cared about you. You are so not who I thought you were. Amazing venue, I love it, just want to say. I have goosebumps from this soundtrack because this is, these are the movies I grew up with, this type of sound. You know what I'm saying? The part where Bianca beat the hell out of some guy. Yeah. Bianca did what? What's the matter, upset that I rubbed off on her? Oh, impressed. You know, fathers don't like to admit it when their daughters are capable of running their own lives. It means we've become spectators. Oh. Not to break up a tender moment, but when you wear low-rise jeans, they gaps like that at the back, and it really sucked. I don't miss it. <laughs> Time to complete their poem, except for Mr. Donna, who has an excuse. <laughs> Chef! Is this the monologue? This is the monologue. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. I have so many goosebumps from that performance. Wow. That was so good. Did he get her a guitar? Nice, huh? A Fender Strat? Is it for me? I support this. He probably took all that idiot's money and got her a guitar. Some asshole paid me to take on this really great girl. Yeah, but I screwed up. I am. Um, I fell for her. Really? It's not every day you find a girl who'll flash someone to get you out of detention. Yes, yes. Oh, an ending crane shot. <sighs> yes, and we went full 99 music video right here. Obsessed, obsessed, love. Oh my God, we never got Alice and Janney back, guys. Um, 10 things I hate about you, wow. Very cool. A lot of heart. Did not expect that. Been kind of on a run of teen flicks where they were very ensemble based, very goofy. Um, some really real moments, especially in Fast Times or Ridgemont High, but mostly played for comedy. This film, I felt tonally um, was like doing both. It was doing comedy, but it was being very real, being getting you right in the heartstrings. Dad was super comedic, Alice and Janney, super comedic, but then those, those core love stories, those leads, beautifully acted, didn't really expect anything else. If anything, I feel like this one is like the PG version of everything I love. I was pretty shocked that they maintained a lot of Shakespearean language, and if it wasn't Shakespearean, it was Shakespearean 
in its own modern way, if that makes sense. I guess what I mean is like, yeah, the language used by Kat was like Shakespearean for 99, you know? She like uses big words and was very articulate. Thus the basis of its appeal. <laughs> Held is just a sauna. I wrote down these lines, they're pretty good. Antiquated dating ritual for the prom. And you know I love a musical number, so I was dead roasted at that. And I just wrote three name boys. We had Joseph Gordon-Levitt in this, so. Let the reaction speak for itself. Okay, let's get right into the trivia section. The scene in which Kat reads the 10 things poem. Oh, that was an amazing moment. I knew that that was like an iconic monologue. I had no idea it was as short as it was. And she cries at the exact moment she needed to cry at. It's, I think I fear as an actor, I would have overthought this out of that moment and then I couldn't have been free. And she is so settled and so free in that moment. It is astonishing to watch. It's beautiful work. The scene in which Kat reads the 10 things poem was the first and only take according to DVD extras. Kat's tears towards the end of the poem were real and not planned. The entire film was shot using real locations. No sets were used. Yes, it was very much right in the heart of Seattle, but that school was beautiful. Heath Ledger improvised the moment where Patrick starts playing with the fire. Heath Ledger's first American movie, what what? I think of Heath Ledger as like a young, like as a River Phoenix type. So I thought he'd been in American movies as like a kid kid. Why did I like double double those words? Sorry. <sighs> David Crumholtz, who plays Michael in the film, wrote a piece for Vulture explaining why he thought the movie worked so well. He stated the entire cast became friends. Joseph Gordon-Levitt turned me on to Fish. I turned him on to Wu-Tang Clan. The actor wrote, Gabrielle Union had us in stitches. Julia Stiles brought her own brand of Soho bred artistic intellectualism at only 17, mind you. Larissa Olenek, Olenek's laughter filled the room. We marveled at the tone, to, toneness of Andrew Keegan's muscles, a great sport. Ha <laughs> We agreed we were having the best summer of our lives. I have so many chills, you guys. Wow. Wow, in real life, JGL speaks French fluently. Holy shit, good for him. Oh my God. Letters to Cleo lead singer Kay Hanley said they had to perform their song in a patch of roof the size of Hanley's kitchen on a windy day. Ugh. They told us this is a helicopter shot and it costs $500,000 every time the helicopter has to take off, so don't it up. It's rude. That's so messed up. Yo, the table dance scene is what led Julie Stiles landing the leading role in Save the Last Dance. So I did know that she goes on to do like a dancing flick and that is so funny. Film in the high school, used as the high school at Stadium High School located in Tacoma, Washington. Yup. Cameron says I burn, I pine, I perish. That was pretty obviously Shakespeare. Several names reflect the origin of the Shakespeare Verona, Italy. High school is called Padua, which is the city the play is set, and the two sisters' names are Katarina and Bianca, same as the play. Andrew Keegan didn't know how to draw genitals for one scene, so David Krummeltz had to teach him. Gimbals. <laughs> During a Q&A, this is cool, I had a question about the title. During a Q&A with the screenwriters, Karen McCullough revealed where the title came from. The title is based on a diary entry I made in high school. She explained, I had a boyfriend named Anthony that I was frequently unhappy with. I made a list called Things I Hate About Anthony. The opening title scene takes place at Cary Park in Seattle, a tiny park featuring probably the most iconic view. Yeah, so there's like no crazy trivia. I didn't have any crazy questions aside from locations, which um, we got answered for us. It was all locations. They were all real locations in Seattle. Let's go elsewhere to see if I'm missing anything. And man, oh man, oh man, did I love this soundtrack. It, like I said, it just sounded like my childhood. Like all movies from when I was a kid sounded like that. On March 31st, 1999, the high school rom-com 10 Things I Hate About You hit theaters and grossed a modest 53.4 million. Oh yeah, we should look at the budget, right? Okay, this was an estimated $30 million movie, made 55-ish million on the first day. Cool. They let, they wanted Heath Ledger to keep his Australian accent um, director said it made it more interesting, mysterious, and sexy. Julia Stiles cried real tears at her poem. Those tears weren't intentional. On some level, I knew that I was supposed to just be somewhat emotional because when we did the table read, I remembered I just said the poem and I could have been reciting the phone book, Stiles said, but when it came to filming, I never expected that I was going to start crying. I don't know why I did that. Whether it connected to something going on at that time or if it, I was just overwhelmed by the whole experience of making my first big movie. Oh my God, it was her first big movie. That's so cute. Movie was spun off into a short-lived TV show. I'm shook that this was Julia's first like big movie. I didn't know that. Is she still working? I know she was in Hustlers. I loved Hustlers. She's kind of like dropped out of her like leading lady thing and she's starting to do more like supporting work. And that's just the nature of the beast. 
Okay, you have seen my reaction to 10 Things I Hate About You. Now I wanna hear from you. Do you like this movie? Did you watch it when it came out? Were you in high school in the late 90s and did this capture a moment in time for you? As always, if you like what you see and you want more, you can hit the link in my description below for Patreon information. And on that note, I'm gonna go eat.